Hey, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I've been working on clearing out this little uh, three by six bed, this little raised bed. I started this bed two years ago with a lot of wood down at the bottom. And last year we checked, we dug down and saw that that wood was well on its way to rotting. Um, and you can see that the bed has settled down about, well, six inches. It was filled all the way up to the top. So that wood is decaying, adding nutrition to the soil. So I'm gonna to top it off with some garden soil. And this is where I'm gonna plant some garlic this year. And I don't know how to plant garlic, I've never done it. I'm gonna have somebody show me how to plant garlic. And um, well, she's done it before and had success. Hey, welcome to Black Umbo Southern Gardening. I've got a guest here. Welcome Rachel from Oxheart Gardening. Uh, if you don't know who Rachel is, I'm gonna leave a link to her channel down below. Um, I've been following Rachel's channel for, um, well, since she started her, her first garden behind her apartment complex. And I've been following her because I like her honesty. I like the fact that she shows her mistakes and I like the way that she gardens as well. And I strongly recommend if you want to find somebody who's got um, a studious uh, manner about why she does the things that she does. Phoebe, hitting the camera. Um, and, and just gets out there and works hard and produces a lovely garden. Go follow Rachel's channel. It's called Oxheart Gardening. You named your Oxheart Gardening channel after a carrot, right? Yeah, sort of. Um, the name came from, we were naming our Animal Crossing town and uh, I was like, oh, what do I really like right now? Oxheart carrots are my favorite. And then we're like, we're going to just change the spelling, you know, just so it's cool. It's a cool name. Um, so now it's A-U-X-H-A-R-T, Oxheart. A-U-X-H-A-R-T. Awesome. Well, Rachel um, had a garlic video that she did um, about a year ago. I guess it was November yeah. of 2020. Yeah. And I really liked that video because I've never grown garlic. Of all the things that I've grown, I, I mean... Can you imagine? I've never grown garlic. So uh, I thought I'd ask Rachel to help out. You can do like a blooper roll of all of the shots of you looking up in the sky. I, I, <laughs> I have some bloopers actually. Um, and a lot of them do have helicopters, airplanes, but a lot of them have dog run ins mm -hmm. with the camera. And, uh, she actually knocked my camera over couple of weeks ago but uh, anyway all right so what do we do here with garlic I, I mean you get these garlic seed bulbs like this yeah and um, I'd like you to teach my audience how to plant garlic cool yeah so the first thing you want to think about when you're planting garlic is what type are you getting there are two main types of garlic you can get you can get soft neck and you can get hard neck um, this is a soft neck variety which is good for this area um, and you can kind of tell if you're just gonna go buy garlic from the store to plant you can tell if it's hard neck or soft neck by looking in the middle. A hard neck will have like a woody stem going straight through the center and your soft necks will not. Um, and so the reason that that's important is because uh, a hard neck garlic needs a freeze in order to be uh, stimulated to bulb mm. up. So you can plant hard neck garlic where it won't freeze, uh, but you will end up with tiny little bulbs. So I could have planted hard neck garlic last year yeah because we got an awful freeze <laughs> yeah it can work um but generally soft necks are recommended for people who are not getting good winter freezes um and when you're looking at your garlic you have this pointy end at the top and the remnants of the roots at the bottom and as you pull apart the cloves you see that kind of in miniature form you can see where the roots would have come out and the growing tip where the stem is going to come out. Uh, and planting garlic is incredibly easy. You just have to look at the orientation of the garlic and stick it in the ground in that orientation. How far down do you put it? Uh, the general recommendation for pretty much anything is twice as deep so as it is. So it's the same rule with garlic, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Um, some people you'll see they will plant 
uh, not as deep because they're planning on putting a big layer of mulch on it to bring it through the winter. Um, but garlic I have found is very vigorous and if you plant it a little too deep by accident it will push up through and it will push up through mulch just fine. Really? So you don't have to worry about, you can put whatever thick layer of mulch on and they'll pretty much push up through anything. Awesome. Um, something else I've learned since the video that I posted is that you should check your garlic for mites before you plant it. So if you take like one or two um, cloves and peel them, you'll want to look for mite damage. Mites. This one is hard to tell because it looks like it might be a little old. Yeah, it's, it's um, I got this from Seed Savers Exchange, which is usually a very good and reputable seed company. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised if they're if they're a little old. Yeah. So you peel it all the way back and... Yeah, just to, to check. Now, in will, will in that... general, you won't want to do that. Um, garlic will probably come up just fine without the paper skin, but uh, you want to leave it on whenever you can because it's going to protect it in the soil from these pests. When you're looking at seed garlic, like if you are buying something from the store or you're saving seed garlic, um, you do want to look for that really tight uh, paper on it and you want to look for the most uniform bulbs because what you put in the ground is what you're going to get back out. Um, so this, it's hard to tell if this was damaged or if this is mite damage, um, but when you're looking for mite damage, maybe we can find a picture of it somewhere. It, it shows as those like little yellow bumps okay. on the garlic cloves. I don't know if you've ever seen that mm -hmm. on stuff you bought at the store. Um, so if you do have mite damage, you'll want to soak your, peel your cloves and soak them in some high alcohol solution okay. to kill them off because you definitely don't want to be putting mites into your soil. I see. They will always be there if you get wow. them. Well, okay. That's uh, frightening. <laughs> um, so would you just select a sample from each of these, each of the, the... Yeah, so something you would look for, like if, you, if you're trying to figure out if you need to check for mite damage, a lot of times it will look like rust spots I see. on the paper. Um, and we'll have to peel these outer layers off anyway right. before we pull them apart the plant. Phoebe, you're in the you're in the way. But like this one looks really good. It's clean and white, and the papers are really tight on it. And that's just a really good sign that it probably hasn't incurred any pest damage. Awesome. Well, we'll just we'll just assume that. <laughs> if I have garlic mites in this soil in the future, I just won't plant garlic. Yeah. So yeah, the only real remedy for that is to plant somewhere else, mm -hmm. which can be done. And then the last thing to think about is spacing. Um, the way I generally do it is I assume that this is gonna grow another similarly sized head of garlic. So I just want to use something I have to space them about as far apart as the clove. Okay. Garlic can be pretty close together because the stems grow, the leaves are just really tall like mm -hmm. onions. So they don't tend to shade each other out. Bold. All right, well, we can start um, at that end and just kind of shove them in, I guess. Yeah, that's the, the basic idea. And I like to do, um, instead of like straight rows where they're like a grid, I like to offset by a little bit okay. so you can um, you can get more in. So, so you're doing like a, a pattern that's not just rows, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I learned that from M.I. Gardner, actually. He does like this. Yeah? See, he's one of those guys that I was talking about earlier that if I wanted to know how to grow something <laughs> that, that they typically grow in the north, like garlic, Yeah. he's one of the guys I'd look into. Yeah. M.I. Gardner's great. They just bought a new place. Yeah, they did. And there's proof that you can make money <laughs> as a gardener. Um, so there's one more thing you can look at when you're choosing your garlic cloves to plant. As you get towards the center of a garlic, you'll notice that they get a little bit smaller of mm -hmm. cloves. And so if you're going to select at all, select all of the biggest ones to plant and maybe keep all the little tiny ones to eat. Okay. Because they will technically still grow, but the chances of them growing a large bulb for you are smaller. Right. That makes sense. So what I'll do, I'll start on this side then. Okay. And if we don't have enough to meet in the middle, I'll plant something else there. Maybe onions. 
That's true. Have you ever grown onions from seed? I've tried and it is hard. <laughs> okay. So like if you just imagine that we just pulled apart all the heads, but like the size of a head right. would kind of fit comfortably in all of these. Just like that. Uh, about it's that far. Yeah, about twice, you know, like that far deep. But the pointy side has to go up, remember? Okay. The, um, the other side goes down. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. I'll have to plant something else in them. <laughs> so let's plant all these little ones, too. Okay. Here. Right. Did you put one there already? No. And are the greens, have you ever used the greens in cooking? You can. I find that they're not, like, they're not, like, super tasty. Um, some people, so hard neck garlics will put up the scape that people talk about. Uh -huh. uh, soft necks will not. Um, and the scape, I've heard, is really good. I think it's a little more bitter. But it's, it tastes garlicky, but with a little bit more bitterness to it. Well, thanks for showing, uh, showing us how to plant this garlic. And thanks for coming by and visiting. It's always good to have uh, gardeners talking to one another, especially YouTube gardeners that, um, that do similar things. You know, Rachel has a larger garden than me now, but she's got a smaller channel. That means she needs you to go over there and subscribe to her channel, check out what she's doing, and be part of her community over there. Um, it, it's got a different vibe. It's not just an old man puttering around in his <laughs> garden, but it is, it's still gardening. And that's what unifies all of us YouTube gardeners, is we don't have to be identical. We don't have to do it the same way. Um, we can do it a little bit different and learn from each other even still. Right there. I think that's... All right, I'll put something there. So, um, yeah, that's um, that's garlic with Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll talk to you next time. Happy gardening to you.